the Wednesdaydale Juvenile Hurdle is next. Got 13 in this one. Uh, we've got two four-year-old hurdles this week. And at the top we've got all car design for Padre Hogan, Chaos Bell, Greg Beckwith, Final Say, Darren Thompson, I'm all white, Derek Hinton, Military Crusade, Jim Murray, Ortea Bronze, Matt Cooper, Potential in Spades, Joshua Sullivan, Bobble Hat, and Esme Note for Alex Cherry, Haberia Zara, Derek Hinton, Pad and Project, Martin Lidham, Pascalina Lansoff, Padre Hogan, and Stiletto Hill was a winner last week for Daniel French. Call in and away. Is me note. It's going to be the first to show. And the Alex Cherry pair of first and second at this point. Is me note and Bobble Hat. Potential in spades back in third. The stiletto Heel, who was the winner last week in fourth. Towards the back pad and project is the early back marker. That one on its first run over hurdles running the National Hunt Flat Race last week. Here's me note and bobble hat. We finally get to the first of the ten. I'm safely over it on the Darren Thompson's final say. Didn't jump it all that well. Patrick Hogan's pair are towards the back as well as they get over the second. Which they're all safely over and final say jump that second flight much better than they jumped the first. Over the third they go now then. You can see they've got much more, many more obstacles here as they take 10 in this two mile up they normally only take eight or seven but it's Esme note in the lead from bobble hat in second and potentially in spades is in third there's a gap of four lengths or so then to stiletto heel is in fourth and on the inside rail is military crusade on the outside of that one in the red is all tea and bronze between the two of them chaos belt and then Hamaria Zara is after that one. Final saying I'm all white is the second of the greys. Pat and Project has got up the inside and there. Padre Hogan's got the back pair. Pascalina Lantsov and all Cara design. So Alex Cherry won two. Padre Hogan last and last but one as they take the fifth. They're all safely over and a stiletto heel there. The horse who won last week made a really bad mistake at that one. And he's currently struggling as they get over the sixth. The one who's really got his jumping together is final say. That one's now jumped up into fourth. And it's Esme Note continuing to lead over the seventh. That's the fourth from home. With potential in spades in second. Then Chaos Bell moving into third with final say on the outside fourth. Bobble Hat now starting to drop away. Then comes Altia Bronze. Habari Azar is next to Leto Hill. Not a going day today. Military Crusade with work to do. So to Pad and Project. Then I'm all white. And finally all Cara Design and Pascalina Lansov, who look as though they're probably out of it. But it's Esme Note with three to jump. In the lead from Final Say, who's been driven up to challenge. And Final Say takes it up now, then. Coming to this third last, and has really shown a good turn of foot there to get five or six lengths clear all very quickly. Here comes Stiletto Hill, who's now finally got his act together as well as they get over the second last. But Final Say is well clear at the moment from Stiletto Hill, who's now starting to get into overdrive in second. Also running on now is Kabir Zara over the final flight, and they go. And this Stiletto Hill, I think it could be a good one because he just swept past Final Say as though it's standing still to make it two out of two. And Stiletto Hill takes it. Final Say is second, then potentially. Potential in Spades, Military Crusade ran on well, so too did Habaria Zara. Pascalina Lansov was last and didn't get into it at all. And Stiletto Hill will go straight to the head of the anti Bose betting for the Triumph Hurdle, I think, with two pretty good performances in the first two weeks. So Stiletto Hill takes it for Daniel French. Final save for Darren Thompson was second. Potential in Spades, Joshua Sutherland third. Military Crusade, Jim Murray fourth. And Habaria Zara for Derek Hinton was fifth.